Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about how to check the one-way and two-way share at an interior column in a flat plate slab. So this is the column. Around this column, I have to check one-way share and two-way share. So here is written large uniform flat plate slab assembly area and the slab thickness 200 millimeter thick. It has effective depth 170 millimeter in these directions and effective depth 155 millimeter in these directions. And this slab, it supports a uniform superimposed dead load, 1 kPa, and a uniform superimposed live load, 4.8 kPa. As well, concrete strength is 30 megapascal MPa. Now, I have to determine the factored uniform load. So to get this, I need tributary area. So what is that? Tributary area 6 by 6, this part. Now need to find factor uniformly distributed load, WF. Let's see that. So here we use the slab thickness as well uniform superimposed dead load and uniform superimposed light load and we got this 14.45 kPa. Here one important point, no reductions of light load as it is an assembly area. Another thing is according to NBCC, there is permission of live load reductions if tributary area greater than 80 meter square. This is a very important point. And here I am putting the dimensions of the column 300 and 650. So let's move next slide. Here I have to check the one-way shear. One-way shear checking means it is critical at a distance D from the face of the support. From here, from here. So tributary area for the section AA because I have two sections AA and BB. So tributary area for section A is bigger by ratio. 2.68 divided by 2.53 so I got 1.06 so this will have greater factor share force again in terms of effective depth along section AA is also bigger by ratio 170 divided by 155 so it is 1.097 and this will have a greater resistance. So this is greater factored shear force and it is greater resistance. So surely the section BB will be more critical for one way shear. So here I have to compute VF at section BB. What is VF? VF it means it is applied shear force 
at section due to factored load this is vf so how to find that we know this this is WF factored uniformly distributed load multiplied by the 6 meter this length and 2.53 this width. So we get VF at section BB 219 kN. Now we will check VR for one way share. What is VR? VR means factored share resistance of a section. Factored share resistance of a section. As well, this VR, I can call it as a VC because there are no stirrups. So it is same thing. So here I am finding VC for one way share. There is a formula for this. So putting the value for F prime C, B, W, D, we get this. This D is 155. This one. So I got 611 kilo Newton, the value for VC, I mean VR. So the factored share resistance of a section it is greater than applied shear force at section BF. So, of course, I can say the slab is okay for one way shear. So, let's move in the next slide. So, I have to check two-way shear. Two-way shear is critical on a rectangular section. It is at D by 2. D by 2. And here, average depth, I am considering 162. Average depth. Because we had 170 millimeter and 155 millimeter. So average depth I am considering 162 millimeters. So D by 2, it will be 162 divided by 2. This is the distance we need to check to a share. So what we need to find? Compute VF on critical perimeters. So VF, applied shear force at sections due to factored load, it will be, this is WF, as I told before, it is factored uniformly distributed load multiplied by 6 into 6, this whole area minus of 462 multiplied by 812, I mean this dotted area, this one and divide by 1000 thousand to convert it into meters so we got 515 kilo newton this is vf now i need to find small vf small vf means average shear stress due to factored load on critical shear perimeters this vf critical shear perimeters this so here i have to find the perimeter b0 will be 2 into this 812 and 462 i have to add this two then multiplied by two i will get the total perimeter it is 2548 millimeters so to find vf i mean average shear stress due to factored load I have to divide this VF, this is capital V, 515, this is converted to Newton, divided by B0, perimeter we know 2548 and depth 
average depth 162. So I got 1.25 MPA. This is very important. So average shear stress on critical shear parameters, it is 1.25 MPA. Now I have to compute VC for critical section. VC means factored shear resistance. This VC. To find this, I have to use three formula. Out of those three formula, which one gives the least value? I have to compare that value with this one, with this computing VF value. I mean this one, this, this one. VF 1.2. I have to compare with this one. Either it is less or greater than this. So first formula, I am checking this small vc factored shear resistance provided by the concrete. So using this formula, I got 1.264 megapascals. Beta c, there is a ratio of the length, length and width of the column. So this is for the first one. So let's move for the second one. So this one Already I told I have to compare these all VC value with this one. So VC first one I brought this value only from previous slides. These two second formula using I got 1.493. Using third formula I got 1.314. So factored share resistance provided by concrete we have to take this one, least one, least value 1.264. So I have taken this. Now I have to compare with this one because this VF average share stress due to factored load on critical share parameters. So this value, I mean factored share resistance, it is greater than Average shear stress. Average shear state due to factored load. So surely I am safe. So the slab is okay for two way shear. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.